Welcome everyone. I hope you can all hear me well. That's great. And welcome with this full moon transmission. A transmission is a incoming higher vibration download. What happens all the time when you are in your home or when you are in a supermarket. But with the full moon and with the new moon, it can be extra strong. So the moment you put awareness with this vibration coming in, you can integrate it into your system. If we breathe in our most interesting instrument, our body, we can use this vibration to expand. This is how experienced are getting stretched up so we can experience even more. And that is how we can use it to integrate it into our lives because the world is ascending and we are ascending with the world. Today we are working with a full moon in Leo, quite an enthusiastic one. And I don't know if you had any good sleep, but I hadn't. <laughs> because it's quite alive. Today, my guide showed me that we are going to work with the solar plexus and with the third eye. The connection between the solar plexus to the third eye is the doorway where we can work with today. So let's see if we can sit comfortably with both your sitting bones on the ground and your knees touching the ground. With every transmission, I tell you, you can also lay down. But with this transmission, I ask you to really sit up straight. Why? Because it's an activation. If you feel tiredness, don't worry about it. It's here to transform. So let's see if we can sit and really feel our base sitting down. So at the core of your spine, truly feel that you can sit and that your spine can rise up in a soft way. You can use the breath to build up your spine. Softly inhaling, getting the fresh new energy into your system. And softly exhaling all the way down to the earth. Rebuilding your spine. And my guides are here with me today. Showing us to slow down and really feel this motor on the inside. And they are already making jokes that it can feel like there is too much coffee inside your body. But the moment you breathe inside your body, you can expand this energy. So really feel that you can sit and relax in your body and that you are willing to say yes to this transmission. 
So you can open your energetic body for this enthusiastic energy flows coming in. And they are pointing out, especially for the ones who are tired or even in a little form depressed, this transmission is quite important for you. So let's see if you can embrace exactly how you are at this moment. Try not to judge if you are feeling flat or tired. Allow yourself to appear just as you are at this moment. And my guides are pointing out that if you are allowing yourself to say yes to this download, it can feel like golden energy coming in. It is a sparkle of new joy for life. And all you need to do is to open your energetic system and softly breathe. Our intention is our ground. So if we allow ourselves to say yes, that's enough. And this light energy is quite an enthusiastic one. It will enter your body through the third eye. And yes, it will clear the path through your third chakra, your solar plexus. See if you can just softly breathe through your third eye, going all the way down to your belly area, how it can enlighten your fire. Humans sometimes forget that when you are in your most original form, your energy is pure joy. This new energy coming in is just reminding you to come back to your original fire. Life is a game to be played. Life is here to enjoy. 
also when life is tough or when there is a lot to be experienced in the shadow parts. In our deepest core, we are adventurers. It is only our mind which is judging which experience is good or bad. I am asking you today to see your judgment of life and then take a step back, breathing in your belly area to feel your own fire. Everything what needs to be experienced will be there. Life is so much easier if we don't judge. It is truly a switch in life if we can experience every vibration with a smile. And yes, it is not so simple for humans to embrace every vibration there is. We understand life can be intense. It is just a simple reminder that you are here because you have chosen to. It is such a honor to have a body, to experience all vibrations on all its levels. Sometimes life only asks of you to take a step back and to see the full picture. We have climbed the mountain. And now we have overview of our lives. Yes, we can look at the future from a brighter vision while we don't judge the shadow part. Try, if you can, let a inner smile come up from your fire. You are the one who has chosen for this life exactly where you are right now. If you want change, now is a good time to change the path. And three of your guides are gathering here with me with a personal message. So I will translate this for you. And if it resonates, it's probably yours. Do not be afraid to choose differently. Yes, you deserve to live a happy life. Do not be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and to be the adventurer again. 
Life is not here to be fully experienced in fear. Fear is just a phase. Now we are in the phase of completion. So you can have overview of your life. The universe asks of you to choose differently at this moment. A more joyful path awaits for you. Therefore, you don't need to act immediately. I ask you to slow down and feel your fire. Hold your inner child quite close and say, at this moment, we are going to do it differently. Do not be afraid. I'll carry you on my path. This new adventure awaits for you. And yes, you are ready. And the Council of Light continues. We want you to realize that sacredness, this holy vibration, is touching your fire. It is a deep remembering that every choice you make in life is a sacred one. But before you act into the real world, you must feel your choice. Fire helps you with this choice. Sometimes destruction is needed for your new life adventure to start. Do not be afraid. It is here to bring you a fuller life experience. And some of your guides are here showing me that it's difficult to breathe in the belly area. <clears throat> so if you would love to hold your solar plexus with your hand, please use your left hand. Your receiving hand. This is a great way to connect with your fire. Because we are going to connect even more with the new earth. And the new earth asks of us to stay in our heart area. But our heart can never be open all the time without our fire. This brings us passion, a passion for life. That is why self love is connected to our fire. What do we need? What do we want? And yes, what do we desire?
Today is a good day to fantasize what our fire needs. Softly inhale all the way down to our belly area. Asking yourself, what do you want? What do you desire? This original spark coming up is the spark which you need to make your work here in the new earth. Working from passion is a path to go to. Allow yourself to breathe. Some of your guides are pointing out that you cannot breathe properly. I ask you not to worry because the moment you tune into your more cramped self, it is just receiving the love to expand. So don't worry. If you have experienced earlier in your life that your longings, your desires couldn't be there, it takes time to trust that you finally can take space for your own desires and longings. The only thing is needed is that you give yourself permission to fantasize about what you want. And this is going quite well if you are holding your inner child quite close. As a child, we knew quite well how to fantasize. It is a skill which we sometimes unlearn. We are here to point out that fantasizing is manifesting in the 5D world. To make it visual for yourself what you truly want. And yes, this is a fun process. Yes, this is making life quite fun to imagine. So please enjoy while fantasizing about what you want. This is a great challenge to realize that everything is possible. It is your spark to adventure.
softly inhale through your third eye. All the way down to your inner fire. We are asking you to truly relax and to see your new adventure in front of you. Do not be afraid. You can fantasize about anything. If your mind is wandering, bring some awareness to your left hand, holding the belly area. And return back to your original yes for this transmission. We are here to help you to think even bigger. Some of you cannot see just yet that everything is possible. You are here on earth to experience. The time to wait is now over. Don't you see that life is a celebration of experiences? Please enjoy. We are going to silence and integration. We are asking of you to keep breathing through your third eye, all the way down to your inner fire. It is a ritual of coming home to your own spark of life.
And there is one final message here for you. And I'm actually quite honored to channel this one for you. Because lately I am in contact with a new spirit called Isis. Dear humans on earth, this is a great time to reintroduce rituals back into your life. Your inner fire needs honoring. Every aspect of you, what makes you unique, is here to be shown. You must realize that everyone has a unique path to walk here on earth. Especially if the world feels in imbalance at this moment. You are here to restore that balance. The moment we honor our fire, our unique keys to life, we honor the game of life. It is so important that we tap into our truth. No one can tell us anymore what the real truth is. Because real truth only lives within. There have been so many fights in history before about the real truth. That is why I ask you to honor compassion. Every truth can be different. We must realize that we cannot fight any longer. Everyone is carrying a unique puzzle piece of the whole. Only you can discover yours. And to honor its myth. You are a sacred being, one of many lives. If you dare to see your whole truth, you would understand your life. Every life lesson is here to experience. Allow yourself to step into your life completely, embracing every vibration possible. Allow yourself to take the breath of life. And if you hear the sound of the bell, let's see if you can stay with this fire, honoring your own fire. And that maybe even from this fire, 
you can feel this inner smile coming up. You are unique and you are here to live life to the fullest. Welcome back. And I honor you and your beautiful fire. And today I'm extra grateful for the connection with Isis because it feels quite strong and loud. So I hope I translate it in a soft way, but still with that power I can feel with her. So I actually feel quite energized. I'm really sweating. So I hope you can take this new fire into your life and that you can really feel passionate about what you want because it's quite a compass to where you want to go. So thank you so much for joining with this new full, with this full moon transmission. And the moment we sit together, our field gets so much stronger. And I hope to see you again with a new moon in Pisces on the 2nd of March, totally different moon. And if you would love to meet with us live, well, with me live and my partner Lo as well, we organize weekends. Mm, the weekend in March is completely full, but the new one will be in the end of April. So you are welcome to join. I will channel for the group and we will work with breath work, which is an amazing journey so you can totally integrate it into your body and we also have a year course at this moment so you can dive with us for a year long which is i'm super excited about if you would like to help me please follow my youtube channel i almost have 100 followers so i can change the name that's great if you would love to donate that's welcome and i would love to see you next time please enjoy your fire today thank you so much